guys and welcome to another attempt at us trying to restart our vlog channel we are recording a few vlogs in advance to make sure that we can do it so if you see this chances are we've probably pre-recorded like four vlogs and we'll post one per week anyway it's obviously laundry day we don't we don't have an assigned laundry day but uh we did wash all of our sheets this morning and then we also i also wash on my makeup uh remover what do you call that? Towels. And now we're super excited for what we have next on the schedule. And I'll let Madison tell you what that is. Do you remember? She always forgets. I tell her what we're gonna vlog and then she just looks at me like, uh. Let's see how long it takes her to remember. We're planting some seeds in some baby pots. What was the first thing on the schedule? <laughs> Okay, no, it's fine. Okay, so first things first is we got a new pots and pans set. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I get a do over? We got a new pots and pans set, so we're gonna be swapping those out and putting the new ones in. Okay, so in recent posts on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, people have gotten on to me because our old uh, cookware is admittedly really bad. Like it's really old, it's non-stick, so it's really scratched up, which is not healthy for you. <clears throat> and it's just really poor quality cookware, to be honest. So I feel incredibly lucky that I was able to do this because these were not cheap. Um, but I spent a pretty penny to get us a whole new cookware set. And it has been sitting over there by the door. This, this is how Madison makes me get shorter. It has been sitting over there by the door for like almost a month probably um, because I just wanted to, A, I wanted to vlog it, but two, I was hoping that they would sponsor me. They never got around to doing that. So yeah, I paid my own money for this. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so we're gonna open that and then replace our old stuff that's in the, what do you call it? In the um, cabinets. Yeah. And um, so I'll show you all that good stuff. And also I looked into how to recycle those because some of them, the nonstick isn't completely scratched off and we could donate them. So I think I will do that with some of them. But if you wanna get rid of your old pots and pans that they're really just like beyond what should be being used, you can take them to a junkyard, like scrap metal. That's what I found. And then also TerraCycle does have a box if anyone in your area has a drop off for that box. But TerraCycle boxes are typically pretty expensive, so I don't think you'll want to buy it for just yourself and then, like, pay for it. Like, just see if there's one in your area, and if not, take um, them to a, like, a junkyard, scrapyard situation. Also, this is new. We'll get into that in a different vlog. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, let's... You can see. Well, how about you bring that in the kitchen so we can show them our current setup. So... All of our pots and pans are under here. It's actually kind of a mishmash of like stuff that's ours, stuff that we've gotten from like old roommates, and also stuff from my sister. But everything that's red is what's coming out and being replaced. Okay, so this is like the first perfect example of this. So the reason you don't want to use anything that looks like this is the the coating that they put on non-stick pots and pans to make it non-stick is incredibly toxic. There's a lot of studies out there that you can go and find how this stuff is literally causing cancer in people. Um, and I have known that, but I recently looked into it when I started getting more and more comments about it. And it's actually a real problem. So uh, this is something, this we are not donating. We're gonna have to give this to the scrapyard. Um, and then these, this one doesn't look so bad. Like I feel like this one could be donated and I don't know how I feel about that one. Can you see in there? There it goes. So yeah, it's pretty scratched up. And I've never really like, I have like two. You can come sit down here with me. So we have like two of these red little pots. No, I was just saying we have like two metal utensils. Like I don't, I don't typically use metal utensils on these. Only on these. And even when I do that, I'm very careful. So how these got so incredibly scratched. I mean, granted I've had them for like probably since like 2012, so that's like eight years. I guess they are kind of old. Yeah. So anyway, those are the, but that's how I'm differentiating like what we're gonna donate versus what we're gonna scrap and all that kind of thing. This I really like. We thrifted this at like Goodwill a while ago. It's not non-stick yeah. or anything. It's just straight up metal. And we have a matching like pot that we actually got from one of our old roommates. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna keep that. I use that all the time. 
this see that's not that scratched up but i just don't hmm i don't know it makes me really nervous to donate any of it because i just don't and donating might be kind of tough right now because of the COVID. COVID. Yeah, like a lot of thrift stores aren't open, so even if we are donating stuff, like what's going to happen to it? I don't really know. You want to help? Uh, you got all the red stuff. We're just telling me when you're ready to open the box. Okay, well, I'm going to try to organize everything too while we're down here. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. Throw it up there. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. Oh my god, we have more cutting boards. Uh, those are not ours. So, well, that one is. So, this is my sister's blue pot. I mean, but it's like the same material. But I'm not going to throw that away. But I think I am going to put it out in the garage with all her other shit. Because why do we need to keep that in here? You know? Mm-hmm. Okay. This, I bought because I thought it was so damn cute. And it is. But we never you use it. We I've hold it. I have never seen that before. Yeah, you have we threw it it's, it's just cute i was actually it's just cute when i bought it it still has a tag on it i originally um anticipated it being for decoration like i was gonna put it up on those uh decoration what yeah like i was gonna put it up on those bulk shelves this thing does not you go could, with our current aesthetic you could also totally put a plant in here like that would be super cute without the lid like that right it would be cute i uh, i don't know it's so heavy it's like legit vintage that's why I really like it. So I'm feeling a little vintage today too. <laughs> You're stupid. So I don't know. I might get rid of this. I might not. We'll see. And then this is just a bowl. Like we have just like mixing bowls. Even though I don't know why we have these because I have a really nice set of glass bowls. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. What? <laughs> You're like, I don't know what. I don't know why we have those because they're like plastic and shitty. They're my sisters. And I just hate to have like duplicates of stuff in here that like no one uses. It's just in the way and it's just shitty. I don't know. It bothers me. Okay. Didn't I get rid of the walk a long time ago? That's Brittany's walk. Oh. Yeah. I was like, I could have sworn. Didn't we make a video about it? It was part of our decluttering series like, yeah, two years ago or something. Okay, so this I think is my sister's, although I don't know what it goes with. Oh, Lord. Okay, let me turn it off and get everything else out, and then we'll show you when we open the new stuff. So, we finally have everything cleared out the way Shelby wants it, what we're keeping, what we're not keeping. So now, we get to bring in... Oh my God, I'm closing the door on you guys. There we go. So now we get to bring in our handy dandy new box uh, of pots and pans. Tippy has so graciously helped us open the box a little bit. <laughs> Speaking of Tippy, here he comes. He, he heard a box move. He says, Mom. He's going to really miss this box. Um, yeah, there he is sniffing around. But we're opening it, and I bet as soon as I get this box out of here, he's going to try and hop in the other box, because that's what he does. Uh, so here we go. I should probably just Tilt this on over. <laughs> oh god. Okay. You just put that behind you so Tippy can play with it. Look, he's like, wait, what? Oh, Tippy, up! Tippy, up! Tippy! Oh. Tippy! He's like, you took my box. He's been sleeping on the box, scratching up the box. Like, the box has been his favorite thing ever since it's been there. <laughs> okay, but here's the exciting box. How do you get into it? Oh, I guess I haven't really talked about it at all. So you go ahead and open it. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. So this is but green you, pan. You don't know why we bought it. Okay, so when I was looking into like pots and pan sets that you could keep forever, because that's my intention. I spent a lot of money on this, and my intention is that this is going to be the pots and pans set that we keep for like the rest of our lives. So ceramic, hey, don't be tearing stuff. It slides out, man, damn. She gets so impatient and just starts tearing I didn't know shit it out. Better. Pull it out, it pulls out like that. Um, so I started looking at things that could last you a lifetime and I already kind of went over the problem with non-stick. So obviously we didn't want to buy anything else that was non-stick. Yeah, he didn't like that. And we also 
my problem with cast iron is you can't really clean it and for some reason that really grosses me out and also like cast iron like if we had a cast iron skillet just this like yeah that's fine but like for bowls and multiple cast irons and they're heavy and you can't wash them and they save flavor like that's just not my thing so when I looked into ceramic it was already it's naturally non-stick um, I believe this brand green pan I'll link them below if I remember but they um, they use recycled materials they produce all their stuff with completely renewable energy they have lifetime warranties like I spent a pretty penny on this so I was making sure that it was like as good as it could be um, and so the outside of them looks stainless steel, timeless, because as you can see with my old set, I did red, and I've already outgrown that, and I think it's gross and I hate it. <laughs> and I feel like silver is absolutely timeless, right? I think so. Yeah. And then the inside, like I said, is ceramic. So, yeah. And, and the benefit of getting ceramic is uh, it's dishwasher safe. Another benefit, by the way, of doing ceramic versus nonstick versus cast iron is because ceramic is naturally non-stick, you can use metal utensils on this. Because I don't like to cook with plastic for obvious reasons, melting, plastic getting into your food, etc. I don't like buying plastic, and uh, it also just doesn't last as long, doesn't stand up to as high temperatures. I just all around don't like using plastic in cooking. So that was also an important deciding factor for me. Why'd you decide to get this brand, babe? For all the reasons that were just mentioned, <laughs> uh, like Shelby said, these are awesome. They're Ma timeless. Tell them They're the good truth. Quality. Tell them the uh, truth. That's the truth. What? All the stuff you said. Did you know that before I bought them? Yeah, because I listened when you told me about them. She lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> Don't let her take what credit. What was that? <laughs> you know, she doesn't do the research, but it's fine. I did do the research. I listened to you. Uh huh. Okay. Well, that's that. We're gonna stack them into the into the what is this called? Cabinet. Cabinet, and then we'll be done with that part. Now it's seed time, baby. Also say. Oh okay. no, it's black. Real hey, quick. no, no, I don't want to be scripted. Wait, real quick, I was going to say, no, no, no. our pumpkin seeds have not come in the mail yet, and I wasn't able to find any around here, so that's the only thing we don't have yet. But we, ha we have, she'll show you what we have. Here. So, what we have is uh, some sugar snap peas. Come on. No, you guys tell them what we're doing first, dude. Oh Are you kidding? Oh, my God. This because you what? popped in here. Anyway, so what we're doing right now is we're going outside to pot some stuff so that hopefully it'll grow better and get rooted in its little pots and then we can pop it into the ground uh, after that. Uh, so headed outside now. Shelby has set up this booby trap here for us to step across. Uh, so got to make sure we do that with the hose. And then we have some sugar snap peas. We have some okra tasty stuff have some watermelon and we have some catnip so Shelby was just telling me right now is probably one of the best times to actually get like pumpkin seeds and melon seeds started we don't have any pumpkins right now pumpkin seeds but ordered she ordered some so they are on the way here we go Tippy's investigating what do I do now you're gonna show what we're doing. So I'm reusing some of these pots that like my plants came in and We just need to put them in here I'm trying to pick the smallest ones These are honestly like kind of big for starter seeds, but it'll work Let's just do it Let's just do it All right Here we go. So we got our handy dandy. These are like my favorite yellow gloves that I use for everything. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get Tippy first because yeah. he's. He makes me nervous when he away. goes up there. He's not running away. He's just going a little further than we're comfortable with. Come oh, cute. Hey, Mom, did you bring really like it when they go that far? Alright, now I'll put the dirt in these. I'll have to 
I was told to grab you all so that y'all can see what we're doing. So our soil that we have is super dry. Here you see our soil that we've tried to get wet. So it's super dry. So now we're gonna be compacting it and then just letting it sit for a bit. So oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh my god, you're about to take out one with the hose. Oh! No! No! You lose a man? Yep. There we go. Alright, so we added some more pots here. Shelby topping them off with water. And we're gonna do a catnip, three melons, three peas three of something else oh, uh, and yeah that's what we're gonna do I'm also gonna take you guys over here because I think we might be able to harvest a couple of figs let's go here we go there's Tippy actually being good holding his ground here we go all right so we got all kinds of stuff back here we got like some I'm pretty sure these are oranges uh, but they've been green for like ever. We also got up here Pomegranate which they're like this weird funky color. I don't know when they're supposed to change, but I'm hopeful uh, And then we got our figs here They're that nice purplish color mm, These actually might need a bit more time yeah, they're not as soft as they should be. Sorry, I got you guys all excited. They're almost good to go though, but... Oh, this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I see one over here. I see a couple over here. This one is coming with me. Right there. We're gonna just... Boop. You see these ones as you were walking up? Look. Here, here. Yeah, they're not ready here. yet though. But I mean, they're this one's ready? It's supposed to look like that. Like or a deep purple. Not this one? No. Oh. Okay. You see this one? Wow. Should we pick that one? Yep, you can pick that one. It is ready. Oh, Ooh, oh yeah. Look at that harvest. Show us. Wow. There are not as many as there were. Is that one ready right there? That one? Which one? That one maybe? In there? Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think? Maybe, maybe. Maybe a couple days. So Here, hold this. I see one. I gotta go for it. Shingle, shingle. This is what my dad says, y'all. It looks a little green, babe. I say it's good. Okay. Look how perfect this one is. This one's pretty good. What? Yeah, it's kind of complicated because, oh, there's one right at the top right there that's probably good. Can you see it? It's complicated with figs because they're supposed to completely ripen on the tree. Mm -hmm. So it's like you don't have much of a window for, you know, picking them. You kind of have to be... On the lookout. Oh, a squirrel got a hold of that one. Gosh dang it. Those varmints. Wow. Yeah. Look at those pomegranates. You see them? The squirrels get a hold of the pomegranates so easily. And we don't really eat pomegranates. So I don't think it's really worth investing the water into them. Whereas, like, I'm watering the... Oh, it won't focus. There it goes. All those pomegranates. So I think, I haven't watered the pomegranate tree, but I'm watering the citrus tree right now because I feel like we'd actually eat that. Same with the figs. Look but at that hole. We haven't been watering the pomegranates because we don't really eat them and the squirrels get a hold of them really soon. Kind of thing. So, yeah, I'll give it back to Madison. Onward. Currently watering the citrus tree, like Shelby mentioned. She's getting all up and personal in that tree. Look at her go. 
Uh oh, Tippy, don't mess with the wasp. They just put one seed per pot. What are you doing? Just one seed? Yeah. We're seedling them. I think if we put one or more than one, then that ups our chances. No, then it means that they'll, their roots will tangle each other and choke them out. The point of putting them in a pot is to pay attention to if they are growing or not. And after like the germination period, if they're not growing, then we can put another one in. It makes it a lot easier to keep track of. So What's that? One of those? Is that catnip? Yep. No, I put multiples of those in there. Oh. That's why I said we're only doing one because we could put multiple seeds in it. It's an herb, so it's different. That's probably good. And I think you just barely pat them into the soil. Like, they don't really need to be buried. Like, maybe just shovel the topsoil around a little bit. So, also, people comment on a video of mine recently when I bought catnip that you can grow it. And I know that. We used to grow it. It was actually growing at top of that. And the neighborhood cats would jump up there every night to like knock all that stuff over mess with all the other herbs I had growing up there and they just completely destroyed it so when we if that does start to grow I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get them to not do that true they were quite the nuisances next we got the sugar snap yeah sugar snap these are hard to open I will say but they're big <clears throat> their seeds feel big to me Sound big. Yeah, they're pretty big. So let's put those in the Whoa. middle row there. Those middle four. And you just need four, babe. What? Four. We just have four pots. Here goes nothing. Very nice, very nice. Toy fit. Oh man, I'm hot. Okay, and then these three would do okra. No, I need three of those. And then in these last four, We'll do the watermelons. Watermelon. Yeah. He's being good. Madison's checking on him. That's him right there. He's being quiet. You gotta watch the quiet ones. <laughs> Also, guys, I wanted to point out that I'm using our regular water line to water the citrus tree because we've used up all of our water in our water barrel. <laughs> and it hasn't rained in like two weeks. So our water barrel is empty at the moment, sadly. And we are uh, contemplating installing another one because we need to put gutters actually all around the house, right? Or just the front. In random places. Yeah, so I think we're gonna install another barrel as well when we get around to doing that. That's the plan. Oh, oh. losing people. Oh. <laughs> Ow, a mosquito is eating me. Eating me. <laughs> you just spit on yourself, that makes it go away. You're right. Very nice. Now I'll, I'll line these up against this because we've had luck with that before and just water them every day when I water everything else. Done. 